Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone. When I say salam, you say, I can't hear you, but type it in the chat. Let us know. When I say salam, you say, Walaikum assalam. Exactly. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Welcome to the fifth, uh, ooh, fifth session of the Walking Quran, calling children children closer to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. We're so excited to have you all here today. If you are missing your siblings, your cousins, your friends, tell them all to come join you. Say, hey, I'm watching the Walking Quran. Come join me. We're going to learn together. Together, right? Inshallah, and may you be blessed for inviting people closer to Allah and closer to our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today's session is about being honest, okay? But before we get to today's session, a question for you all. What's your favorite suhoor breakfast? So not iftar, but suhoor. What is your favorite suhoor sihri? What is your favorite suhoor breakfast? Let us know in the chat. Hmm, I love dates. I love oatmeals. I love oatmeal. Yeah. I love banana and Nutella and bread. Ooh, someone said pasta. Pizza. Yeah, pizza. Like, what? Pasta, hash browns and turkey bacon, eggs and toast. That's more like your breakfast food and pancake, and soup, wow, and dates, nice protein shakes, okay, <laughs> big beans, pancakes, this is awesome, oatmeal with chocolate chips, me too, me too, and Grace, this is awesome, thank you all for sharing, so exciting, I hope if you have not fasted this Ramadan yet, let's all take a moment and make the intention that we can all, I know we're all very young, right? We're all very young. So we don't have to fast all 30 days because you're very, very young. But inshallah, if Allah wills it, may he make it so that you can fast at least one day this Ramadan with your entire family by waking up during suhoor, sihri, eating with your family, making the intention to fast, and keeping your fast throughout the day. Let's all say, inshallah, good job. If you are liking the video so far and you're excited for our wonderful teachers who are going to be coming on soon, like this video, click that thumbs up, click on YouTube, uh, what you're watching on YouTube. So click that thumbs up, click subscribe and the bell notification so you're up to date about all of our programs, inshallah. Parents, assalamu alaikum, jazakumullah khairan for joining your little ones uh, to watch this uh, session. We are so blessed to have you. Yes, it's really high energy and we're excited to be sharing some tips on being honest with your children. And inshallah, you are able to stay tuned at the end for a couple of announcements. Mm. Okay, this image, it just it just breaks my heart. There is no there is no sponsor today. How could you all break my heart? Oh my god, that's just so sad. Which means that we are running this episode without a sponsor. If you would like to sponsor and put my heart back together, right? Send us an email at sponsor at celebratemercy.com so that we can make sure that your du'as, the du'as that you make for you, for your family right? That we can share it on a Celebrate Mercy program and everyone, everyone watching live, there's close to 50 of you watching live right now, everyone watching live and everyone who watches the video after thousands of you guys, everyone says Amin in your name. If you want to be that person, ask your parents, inshallah, you can sponsor a Celebrate Mercy program or episode. We still have quite a few kids sessions left, inshallah. Now, now it's trivia time who's excited i'm so excited let's see let's see what the question is oh but before we get to the question make sure that this is the ground rule okay type your best answer just one time how many times just one time into the chat okay everyone bismillah let's see the question ramadan starts and ends with the sunnah act of citing the a, the sun. B, dinosaurs. Roar. C, the moon. What is the answer? Ramadan starts and ends with the sunnah act of sighting the sun. B, dinosaurs. Or C, the moon. C, moon. You guys are all saying moon? Hmm. I don't know if you're right. 
I'm a little confused. I think it could be B, dinosaurs, you know, dinosaurs, because they're old and Islam is old. What is the right answer? What could be the right answer? Everyone is saying C. Hmm. Hmm. Is this the right answer? Is it? Everyone is saying C, so maybe it is. Let's check. Let's check. It is the right answer, mashallah. Everyone, give yourself a silent round of applause. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Wait, I just thought of a joke. Brother Bilal's here. Can I bring him on stage for this? Brother Bilal. Brother Bilal, I have a joke, I have a joke, I have a joke about, about the moon. Let's hear it. Okay, okay. You can't be too honest here, Brother Bilal. I, I hope it's funny. Ready? Why is the moon so hungry? Why? Because it's full only once a month. Bro. <laughs> that, that was, was a good, good one. That was good. It was that, a good can, one. We, can we clap it up? Can we clap it up for Sister Noor? That was legit. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. Thank you, Brother Bilal. All right, peace out. I'll bring you back in a bit. <laughs> Everyone, Brother Bilal approved. That was a very good joke. I feel so excited and honored. Alhamdulillah. All right. So now an ayah from the Quran about today's lesson. I want everyone to take a moment and take a deep breath. Okay. We're going to be reading an ayah from the Quran now. So we need to be serious and we need to approach it with our full heart and our full attention. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm only going to read the translation. Oh, believers. Be mindful of Allah and say what is right. This is from Surah al ahzab which is the 33rd Surah in the Quran and Ayah 70. Take a moment, take a screenshot and really sit down and uh, really ponder, really think upon this Ayah and talk to your parents about it after this lesson, inshallah, and have a conversation with your siblings and your friends about what this Ayah means to you. Okay, that is my homework for you tonight, inshallah. <clears throat> and now, teacher time! Yay! Who's our teacher? Yes, it's Ustad Bilal Al Qadri. Okay, let's take a look and see who he is. We all know who he is, but there might be new brothers and sisters joining us today, so they might not know who he is. So, who is he? Brother Bilal is a motivational speaker that empowers the community and brings awareness to things that are happening around the world. He has had some great so jokes so far. Let's see if he, if he can keep up his streak. Inshallah, let's invite him back on the stage. I beat him today with the joke. Right, right, right. Hi, right. Salam. Okay, I got, I got, I got, I got a moon joke for you. Ooh, another one. Yes, yes. Let's see. All right. How does a moon? How does a moon cut its hair? How? You ready for this chat? Eclipse it. <laughs> Eclipse it. Let's go. Wait, there's going to be an eclipse soon. Oh, is there? So an eclipse soon. Yeah, in April. That's wild. Yeah, that was that. very timely. Mashallah, brother Bilal. Okay, we're all going to be looking forward to it. I'm going to think about this joke the entire time. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Great job. The floor is... Jazakallah khair. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiya Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Blessings and salutations upon the last and final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One day, Brother Bilal went to the store. And something really, 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 really bad happened. I was walking down the Lego aisle and I noticed that there was a box of Legos that were open and brother Bilal took a little peek inside and saw a really really cool character and I really 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 wanted it so I said mom I really want this Lego kit and she said no you have too many toys at home let's go we have to leave now so brother Bilal did something really 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 bad he took one of the Lego pieces and put it in his pocket Stealing is wrong. So all day, Brother Bilal was thinking about, why did I steal it? What if I get arrested? What if I go to jail? What am I going to do? 
And I said, I can't tell my mom. I have to hide it from her because she's going to be so disappointed. Oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. What if I get caught? What do I do? So Brother Bilal did something very, very brave. He told the truth to his mom. I said, Mom, I stole a Lego from the store. Are you mad at me? She said, no, I'm so happy, so happy that you came to me and you were honest. I said, Mom, what are we going to do? I'm so embarrassed. She said, let's go to the store and make it right. Everything will be okay. You see, when we talk about being honest, we have to not only be honest to ourselves, but we also have to be honest to Allah. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said truthfulness leads to righteousness and righteousness leads to paradise. And a man keeps on telling the truth until they become a truthful person. So when you're truthful, Allah grants you Jannah. So we're truthful to ourselves, we're truthful to our parents, and we're truthful to Allah. Allahu Akbar. Truthful to ourselves, truthful to others, and truthful to Allah. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the most beloved speech to me is the most truthful. The most beloved speech to me is the one that is most truthful. And I'm going to share with you very quickly a very, very long hadith about Ka'ab bin Malik. Now, Ka'ab bin Malik, this was during one of the battles. And the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said that it was obligatory for every single person to join on this journey. And Ka'ab bin Malik, he procrastinated. He said, I'll just get up and later and do it. I'll get up and later and do it and later and later and later and later until <gasps> all the Muslims were gone. And there were only a few people left in Medina. So Ka'ab bin Malik, he got a little scared. And news came back that the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam was coming back. So Ka'ab bin Malik started to think, what do I do? 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 And he said, I'm going to tell the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts, especially when someone says something to yourself and you know it's true that, you know, maybe Brother Bilaz gets a little angry sometimes. So when someone says, calm down, I shouldn't get mad. I should say, you know what? I think you're right. Thank you for being honest. And now I'm honest with myself. So Kaab bin Malik did something. He said, I'm going to tell the truth. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came up to him. And he says something so amazing about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says that when they came back, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sat right in front of him. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam smiled, but it wasn't a smile like he was happy. It was a smile kind of like one of those ones, like, hmm. So he asked him, he said, why didn't you go with us? So Ka'ab bin Malik, he thought, he said, if I were to sit before anybody else, anyone else, I'm a person that can be very, very persuasive. I can tell someone something and make it sound so good and they'll believe it. And Ka'ab bin Malik said, I have this very good skill, but by Allah, I am fully aware that if I were to put forward a bad excuse or to lie to you just to make you happy, Allah would definitely provoke your wrath upon me. Meaning, Allah will expose me to you and you will know that I'm lying. So, I'm going to speak the truth, Prophet Muhammad. You may be angry with me, but I hope that Allah would be pleased and accept my repentance. By Allah, I don't have a reason. <sighs> The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said something so beautiful. This man spoke the truth. Get up and wait until Allah gives a decision about you. Now, it's a very, 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 very long hadith. But Ka'ab bin Malik, it's mentioned that for almost two months, 60 days, nobody in Medina spoke with him. Until Allah revealed a verse. And the Muslims were so happy that they ran over to his house. They jumped the fence and they said, Gab, Allah has said that he's forgiven you. And they were so happy because they had missed him so much. They missed talking to him so much, but they couldn't because they had to be truthful to themselves. They had to be truthful to the Prophet. They had to be truthful to Allah. So they didn't talk to him for 60 days. And then when they were finally able to talk with him, they said, Gab, we're so happy for you. So Gab. 
bin Malik went to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said, "Is this from you or is this from Allah?" And Prophet Muhammad smiled so happy. He said, "This is from Allah." And Ka'b bin Malik said, "Allah has granted me protection because I was truthful and honest." And Alhamdulillah, he says, "By Allah, I do not." No, anyone among the Muslims who has been granted truthfulness better than me since I said this to the Prophet and by Allah, since this time, I will never ever intend to do a lie. And he, this, the Prophet the Ka'ab bin Malik is narrating the story when he's an old man in his 70s and he says, I never told a lie after this because I hope that Allah would protect me against telling lies for the rest of my life. And what were the verses that came down to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about Ka'b bin Malik's story? Allah, it brings tears to the eyes. Allahu Akbar. And Allah has turned in mercy to the three that were left behind, whose guilt distressed them until the earth, despite its vastness, got so close. He was embarrassed. He was so he just everything was just pushing, pushing pressure. How could I do this? How could I not listen to the Prophet Muhammad? Everything felt close. And Allah said their souls were torn in pain. They knew that there was no refuge except Allah. Then he turned to them in mercy so that they will repent. Surely Allah alone is the acceptor of repentance, the most merciful. The next verse Allah says, O oh, you who believe, ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, calling out to the believers, be mindful of Allah and be with thee truthful. Allah called Ka'b bin Malik the truthful just because he was honest. Uh oh, Brother Bilal's camera went away. Okay, just because he was honest, just because Ka'b bin Malik was honest, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called him the truthful. And being truthful is one of the highest things that you could be in terms of faith. Be honest, even though the truth hurts. Be honest to yourself, be honest to others, be honest to Allah. Honesty leads to Jannah. So always be honest, be truthful to who you are. The Prophet Muhammad was the truthful one. We need to be honest because it makes Allah happy. And if we believe, that means what? That we listen to this verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, be amongst those that are truthful. Even though it may hurt, even though we may be a little bit embarrassed, do what's right and be honest. With that being said, Jazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Brother Bilal, I also want to say we're all learning a lesson on being honest, but in the previous weeks, we also learned lessons on being kind, right? Being kind. The chat is not so kind and you're hurting my feelings. Uh oh, See, I haven't seen the chat. What's in the chat? Yeah, they're not being kind to each other. They need to be kind. Everyone take a moment, step away from the chat. And only type if you have kind words to say to each other, okay? Can I share okay. one thing? Can I share one thing before we welcome yes, our incredible, Bilal. amazing Ustad Mahdi? Yes. Did you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and my camera keeps dying? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Come back to life. There we go. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Come on, camera. Down, Everyone manifest it. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. It works. It works. Allah. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we think that the internet, nobody knows who I am. Haha, ha, I'm going to type away. That these could be bad deeds that will be held against us. Because imagine someone's feelings gets hurt and they're not kind. And that person gets really sad just because someone said something in the chat. So we have to make sure that we're kind, we're happy, that we're smiling through the keyboards, especially you kids out there. Okay, may Allah bless you and keep you safe. Okay, and again, if you're if you, someone's not kind to you, we learned that what you have to be still be kind to others. Thank you so much, Brother Bilal. Very beautiful lesson. So everyone, you have to learn to be kind and be honest together. Okay, all right, alhamdulillah. But the Bilal, I'll see you in a bit, inshallah. Everyone, we also have the walking Quran. Yes, this entire program is built off of an actual activity book that you can complete at home. I know we are only halfway through Ramadan, but that means you still have half of Ramadan left to do this activity book together. Take a moment to uh, save this link, celebratemercy.org slash WQ guide. You can download it and you can actually print print it out, print off the remaining sessions and do those activities on your own and with your family.
family members or with your friends, take it to Tarawi when you're doing it together and you're not able to pray. Sit and do the coloring pages and learn about the Quran, right? So do that. And if you don't want to download it and print it, you can also order it on Amazon. Go to celebratemercy.org slash order and you can download the book to have it shipped to your house and you can do the entire activity book at home, inshallah. And now it's teacher time again. Next up, we have our Ustad Mahdi Amin. Ustad Mahdi graduated from Zaytuna College and is a lawyer. He also helps our new brothers and sisters in Islam learn more about being Muslim. And he always brings with him a new tune for us to sing together. What will it be today? Can you take a guess and drop it into the chat? But while you're doing that, I am going to bring Ustaz Mehdi to the stage. Assalamu alaikum. Hasunat jami'u khisalihi Sallu alayhi wa alihi Sallu alayhi wa alihi Complete Perfection made him lofty, darkness vanished from his beauty. Perfect are all his qualities, blessings on him and his family. Blessings on him and his family. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alaykum everyone. You guys know that every prophet that came, you know, Adam, Noah, Nuh, Sulaiman, Ibrahim, Ishaq, Ismail, Yusuf, Yunus, all these amazing stories, Musa, Isa, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they all have four qualities. They all have four things they do. One of them you can do by doing what we learned today, and that is Sidq, being honest and truthful. And so you can do something that all the prophets did. You know, there was once this young boy and uh, he used to work, uh, he used to work to, he used to take care of like sheep as his job. And he'd take the sheep to graze and he would take them to graze on the top of this hill. And so, one time when he was at the top of this hill, he wanted to play a little prank, play a little joke. And so he started yelling to the whole village, fire, 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 fire. He started yelling, right? And all the people from the village came up, came up, they all came running. And they came up and they came up and then he was laughing. <laughs> He's slapping his knee. <laughs> there was no fire. Mm. The next day, He's like, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. And so he went up there and he's like, fire, fire, help, 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 fire. And they all came running, they all came running. And he's like, <laughs> I got you, I got you. The next day, the third day, guess what happened? There was actually a real fire. Oh my God. So he was so scared and he was running and he was shouting, fire, fire, help, fire, fire, help, fire, help. And guess what the people thought? Guess what the people did? They're like, ah, that young boy, he doesn't say the truth. I can't trust him. I can't trust him. So they didn't go. They thought it was just a prank. They thought it was just a joke. And they didn't go. And the fire came and it burned all the grass and it burned all the stuff and it burned this, these stables and it burned all this stuff. And, and then it was such a sad moment. Why didn't you guys come? He said, why didn't you guys come? Ah, because it was the boy who cried wolf. The boy who cried wolf. You know, our Prophet Sallallahu was so truthful that even when he said a joke, he said the truth. He said one time, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to this, this elderly lady that only young people will enter paradise, only young people will enter heaven, will enter Jannah. Oh my God, she got a little sad. And then he told her, yes, because 
everyone will be young. So even you, you will be young. You'll be about 33 years old. Right, you're strong when you're 33, right? So, so yeah, even when we joke, we say the truth. But you know, I want to ask you something. What if, what if we slip? What if shaitan tricks us? What if we get, we lose our courage and, and we slip and then we say something that's not true? Mm. Then what do we do? I'm going to, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Uh, <laughs> justice, just that. I want to ask you a question, guys. Um, like the question is, you know, if there's a fire, if there's a fire, like they teach us three words to three words. It starts with stop, stop, blank and blank to get rid of the fire. What are those three words? Can you type it in the chat? What are those three words? When, when there's, if there's a fire, may Allah protect us in this life and the next. If there's a fire outside in the, in the room, God forbid, may Allah protect us. We're taught to do stop, blank and blank. What are they? And can you help me uh, see the chat? Um, I, I can't see. Is anyone getting it right? Can you tell me what they're saying? What is it? I can share. Let's see. Drop yeah. Ah, good. Stop. So if there's a fire outside, stop, drop and roll. Good. Stop, drop and roll. But now I'm going to share something. What do we do if there's a fire inside? Ooh. Ooh. Good job. Stop, drop and roll. But if there's a fire inside, we do something else, a different three words, but it also starts with stop. <laughs> what is it? And there are also four It's also four letters each. Am I good? Is there lagging? I turned on my, my do not disturb. So if there's a fire inside, you know what we do? And I want you to type it in the chat. We do stop, feel, and plan. Ooh, what does that mean? Stop, feel, and, and plan. Can you type it in the chat? Can you show me? Stop, feel, and plan. Like stop, drop, and roll if there's a fire outside. Stop, feel, and plan if there's a fire inside. What does that mean? Just like that beautiful story that Brother Bilal shared with us, with, with, our, with our Sahabi, our beautiful, one of our superheroes, Kahab ibn Malik. What did he do? Stop, feel, and plan. Stop, feel, and plan. Oh, oh I made a mistake. Ah, I heard someone. Oh, I said something that wasn't true. I stopped. So I stopped the, the, the non-truth, I stopped the lie, I stopped the backbiting, I stopped the bad word, I stopped the bad music, I stopped the arguing, I stopped the, the, the making my mom sad, I stopped the making my dad, dad sad, I stopped the fighting, I stopped. Then I feel, ah, just like Gab when Malik felt in his heart, he felt, ah, he felt remorse. Ah, oh, how did I do that? No, I shouldn't have done that, I wish I didn't do that. So you feel, you feel, and then you plan. And then you plan, I'm never going to do that again. Never going to do that again. Just like Gab said, I went into my 70s and I never, ever, ever didn't say the truth again. Didn't say the lie again, right? So I plan to never do it again. So let's say I I was arguing with, ma, with mama. I was arguing with mama. I stopped arguing. I feel, ah, in my heart, I feel. And then I plan, okay, you know what? I'm not going to do that again, ever again. Stop feel and plan and then that's what we do if we make a mistake and we said a non-truth if we said a lie may Allah protect us because one day our tongue is going to talk and you want your tongue to talk to Allah and say Mahdi used me to always say the truth he never used me to say the lie and if he ever made a mistake then he did stop feeling plan he did Tawbah he turned to you Allah and he said Ya Allah Ya Allah he turned to Allah because Allah forgives and he loves Allah loves to hear the one calling him he loves to hear the one calling him Ya Allah I'm at a hospital so I'm calling Allah for all these sick people at the hospital may Allah cure all of us inshallah and protect us and help our ummah everywhere in the world Ya Allah Ya Allah we can't do anything without you and in that beautiful story that that brother Bilal shared the, Allah says in the Quran there's no escape from Allah except to Allah. Whoa, what does that mean? That means if you want to run from Allah, the best place to run is to run to Him. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, your two-year-old little brother, your, your one-year-old, three-year-old little brother, if they get in trouble from mom or dad or mama or papa, what do they do? They run to mama and they hug mama. 
So that's what we do. If we make a mistake, we run to Allah. We hug Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our heart, with our dhikr, with our words, right? With our tawbah, with our tawbah figuratively. Hug Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? لا ملجأ من الله إلا إليه No escape from Allah except to Allah. ففروا إلى الله Run to Allah, flee to Allah. He's waiting. He's waiting for us. Honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. Insha'Allah, my noor super believers, noor, <laughs> Masha'Allah, I celebrate mercy super believers. May Allah bless all the super believers. Alhamdulillah, I'm passing it back to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam, brother Bilal. It's okay. My name is Noor, so it works out, right? It yes. works out. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, while I have you on the screen with me, Ustad Mahdi, can I also invite brother Bilal up so that we can do salawat together, inshallah? Bismillah. Bismillah. Okay, let's go for it. Bismillah. All right, brother Bilal. This is how we're going to do it, brother Bilal. All right, I'm going to say the first part. You're going to say the second part. Just like this. Ready? Bismillah. Sallallahu ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ala wa sallam. Sallallahu ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ala wa sallam. All right, now everyone at home, join, join Brother Bilal. Sallallahu ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu Muhammad. Sallallahu wa sallam. Sallallahu Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's amazing. Where are you? What city? What state are you in, Brother Bilal? Canton, Michigan. Oh my God. We're doing like Vicky that's going through like all these satellites and this whole universe is all <laughs> going around. Allah. This is amazing. This is the Vicky circle. The angels are trying to fill it all up. Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, wherever you are, I want you to feel it also, whether you're in California or Boston or Spain or Morocco, wherever you are, everyone from your home, all the young men and women. Okay, two more times. Sallallahu alayhi Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Last time. Sallallahu alayhi Muhammad. That's right, my brother. brother <laughs> Bilal. I just wanted to say, you know, in every um corny joke, there is a kernel of truth. So our Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yes, he would always speak the truth, even in his jokes. Assalamualaikum. All right, all right, alhamdulillah. Oh, it's live raffle time. I'm gonna bring Brother Bill all to the stage. We're gonna do live raffle together. Are you ready? I Can am not ready. Not I'm not ready yet. I have a joke wait, for wait, you. Wait, wait, I wait. have a joke for you. I have a joke for you. I'm not ready. Can we do one more joke? Oh, one okay. joke. It has, okay, to be, okay. it has to be so good. All right. Okay, okay. Let's ready, go. ready. You know how you asked about Sahur? What's your favorite Sahur? Uh-huh. Why can't the duck wake up for Sahur? Because he just missed the quack of dawn. <laughs> you get the joke? Sister Ahmed, can I get a little in the private chat? Bro. Quack Don. I'm so Bro. Dumb. Like the the quack a don. Like I just quacked event. up. Bro. Sheesh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do the let's do the thing. <laughs> All right, that 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 gave enough time for me to get this ready. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. Can you do the countdown? Me or you? You, you, you. Okay, the, from what number? 10? No, that's too long. You, you 20? No. 30? 50. Five, 50. No, check it. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Whee! Ooh, Ramadan Mubarak. Let's go. Who is the winner? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Junaid Majumdar, congratulations. I hope it's if it's your parents' YouTube handle, just let us know what your name is in the chat. Are you here, Junaid Majumdar? 
Let's see, let's see. If you're here, I'd love to see your reaction. Are you here? Let us know. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Oh, it's being, it's being a little bit laggy. If you are showing up, yeah. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam. Everyone, please make dua and congratulate our little brother Junaid Majumdar for winning. Mashallah. Mashallah. Because you won, make sure to email your YouTube name to us at kids at celebratemercy.com so that we can send you your prize, inshallah. Next time, next time we are going to learn about how to be welcoming. Today we learned about being honest. Next time we're going to learn about how to be welcoming, inshallah. If you loved today's session, the awesome jokes, the, the nasheed, the salawat, Brother Bilal, Ustad Mahdi, make sure you say that thumbs up. Click that thumbs up right now and let us know that you love the video. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell notification so that you can watch our next session, which is going to be on Wednesday, where we're going to learn how to be honest, inshallah. Look at these awesome photos, awesome photos from people tuning in, completing the activity guide together singing together talking to having a conversation around this event wow you can email your photos in at kids at celebrate send us your photos and we can add them to the screen inshallah now it's time for a dua we always always end with a dua right so today's dua is going to be from the quran surah al-asr okay everyone lift your hand together with me Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Well, us by time. Inna al insan al fi khust. Indeed, mankind is in loss. Illa al ladina amanu, except those who have faith. Wa amilu salihat, do good deeds. Wa tawasal bil haq, and urge each other to the truth. Wa tawasal bil sabr, and urge each other to patience. Ameen. Everyone say Ameen. If you would like to recite Quran during our program, let us know. Email us at kids at celebratemercy.com. We look forward to having you join us backstage and having a special shout out. Mashallah. And then now it's time for parent announcements. If children, if you are alone and your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, cousin, elder person, guardian is not in the room with you, please run the phone or tablet or computer to them and let them know, hey, there's some announcements for you. It's time to dive right in. Let's see. Unfortunately, we don't have a sponsor today. If you would like to sponsor one of our future kids sessions or other Celebrate Mercy programs, please email us at sponsor at celebratemercy.com. We are halfway through Ramadan, but we still have over 40 events remaining, and we would love for you to support Celebrate Mercy. And we would love to feature your du'as, whether it's for your family, a personal du'a, an anonymous du'a, or for someone that has passed away. May it be a sadaqa jariya to you and your loved ones, and we look forward to having you sponsor one of our sessions, inshallah. Prizes, we have prizes each week live, and the chances for you to win live. So when you join live, there are two opportunities for you to win um, prizes but it's okay if you join late you could always watch the recording there are some great jokes in today's session and go check those jokes out and inshallah you benefit from today's session our series finale is going to be during the last 10 days of ramadan you could win an umrah trip if you tune in live, encourage everyone, let everyone know that our series finale is going to be at the end of Ramadan. And we look forward to seeing you there because you could be entered into a raffle to win an Umrah trip, inshallah. Next, tomorrow night, Tuesday night, we have our annual Remembering Brother session. Sincerity, Sacrifice, and Solidarity where you learn about the 313 individuals with our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who won a battle while they were fasting during the month of Ramadan. This is a free webinar. It's on Tuesday, March 26 at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Parents, please join. Encourage your children to join. There will be a recitation of all 313 names and du'as made for each of them by our wonderful Qadi Sinan Hafiz. You can RSVPS celebrate mercy.org slash brother. Our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, charity does not diminish wealth. The believer's shade on the day of resurrection will be his charity and give charity without delay for a block's calamities. We are at 20% of our goal. 
We are more than 50% of the way through Ramadan, but only at 20% of our goal. But Alhamdulillah, 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 we need your help in reaching our ultimate goal this Ramadan. Please take a moment to visit launchgood.com slash CM so you can donate directly to our page so we can meet our goal for Ramadan. What we achieve in Ramadan determines our entire outlook for the rest of Ramadan, inshallah, rest of the year, actually, inshallah, the programming that we have for the children, for teens, for tweens, for elderly, for new Muslims and seasoned Muslims. We need your support to make those happen. And we are also bringing back our in-person sessions. So we cannot make this happen without the funds, without your support. So please consider supporting Celebrate Mercy this blessed month, inshallah. There are also these perks. There's gifts for our Ramadan donors at different tiered levels. You can donate at launchgood.com slash CM. And there are opportunities for you to win, win prizes, uh, win uh, gifts or receive gifts. And one of my favorites on here is the Al-Aqsa olive oil, which is of limited quality and was brought back directly from Jerusalem by our CD Thotic. Having that in your home to be able to use it, to be able to eat with it. MashaAllah. Please take a moment and donate to Celebrate Mercy, inshallah. Help Celebrate Mercy reach its Ramadan fundraising goal, launchgood.com slash CM. We have our tween series tomorrow, Allah Loves, our teen series, Why Do I Believe? <clears throat> Excuse me. And 30 Nights of Light each night. Tonight we will have our 16th session, I believe. Yes. Tonight we have our 16th session, 30 Nights of Light. We are, will be reciting the 16th Juz together and there will be an incredible lineup of speakers and Luminary Shiyuk to walk you through the lessons from Juz 16, inshallah. Take a moment to screenshot this calendar. This is the our entirety of Ramadan. We still have a full calendar. You can learn more and sign up at celebratemercy.org slash Ramadan, inshallah. Add our calendar to yours. You can get it at celebratemercy.org slash calendar. It's a Google calendar that you can add to your Gmail account. And that way you will never miss another session that we are having, inshallah. We also have a Ramadan sale, 20% off site-wide on all orders of $100. You also will get a chance to get a kafya, free kafya in uh, orders above 100, inshallah. Use the code Ramadan20 at checkout. Go to celebratemercy.org slash store, but purchase gifts for your children, for your family members, for your husband, for your wife, for your friends. And you can check out the Endless Banquet. You can check out the prophetic sandal, wooden sandal, the sandal hat. And also kids' play sets that you can purchase in time for Eid as gifts for during this blessed Ramadan. And with that, I leave you all and bid you a good night. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.